<sighs> I can't believe we're here again. Feels like just yesterday. Oh, wait, it was just yesterday that we buried another one of our dinosaurs. Yet here we are again with this celestial pharaohs. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our mega bot at survival. Yesterday kind of went according to plan, but also didn't along the way because we lost this guy. It's kind of ironic that this guy took this guy's life and now they're both buried here side by side together. They didn't get to know another, know each other in life, but uh, they'll get to know each other in death because they're going to be buried right alongside one another. Yeah, we've lost two friends the past two days and hopefully today's a different one hopefully today we don't add to it also we can uncross our arms now it's getting a little awkward walking around with uh crossed arms every <laughs> it looks so not funny <laughs> guys before we get too far into it but no today's gonna be a fun one today we're gonna head out and we're going to continue the journey and taking down all of the origin dinosaurs. If you do enjoy this video, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. Now, towards the end of yesterday's video, after we took down the wandering loot boss that delivered us all of this amazing loot right here. Lots of blueprints that we can probably never ever craft because they're so darn expensive. In fact, I should probably get like a bookcase or something to like uh, hang these up in. But we encountered ourselves an origin T-Rex. The first origin T-Rex that we've witnessed this entire series. We haven't found any of them, but it is one of the few origin left that we actually need to take down before we can keep on progressing through the mod so so far we've taken down these three we've got the argy we've got the die bear we've got the Kano. i can't remember what the rest are i'm pretty sure there's a wyvern um in fact i can find out just by jumping in here we've got a spino we still got to fight we've well, got the t-rex and i plan to do that today and the kairuku and i i know where a kai i think i know where a kairuku is I've, I've flown past one very very early on in this series so i might even be able to hunt that one there down too and then other than that i think it's just the wyvern but once we take all of these down we'll be able to fight ourselves the demonic reaper empress or the celestial indominus rex both of these are absolute powerhouses not to be messed with but we're getting close and that excites me very, very much. Now, before we do get away from here, let me quickly hop into here. I've been grinding some stuff up, but also now that we're kind of starting to get some nice origin armor, we can just grind up our old armor. So let's do it. Did I actually get anything out of that? Oh, we'll grind some more. Wait, can I not grind some more? Wait, I can't grind this stuff up? Wait, because it's already broken, maybe? Oh, that actually might be a thing. All right. Interesting, interesting, interesting. In, in the meantime, though, let me go and get us a bookshelf. We'll say... Oh, they're hazard boots. Of course they are. Um, wait, Engram bookshelf. Is that what I'm trying to craft up? It's been so long since I've gotten myself a bookshelf. Uh, but I got all these blueprints. I got to chuck them somewhere. So I was going to chuck them over here for the time being. And then we'll... Actually, can I just do this? Yeah, there we go. All right, that's one, that's one way of doing it. All right. Well, let's do this thing. Now, while we are out there fighting, I should be able to just teleport straight out, I think. Upon my demonic Caprasutras book, well, of course. This guy is our, like, number one dinosaur by far. But then you're going to head straight out. I'm going to fight this thing. I'm not going to hesitate one bit. But while we are out on this adventure... Not particularly this one, but while we are, are out in the snowy areas once more, because I feel like every day we are out in the snowy... Well, there's there's an origin dinosaur. It's not the one I'm looking for, though. Um, I'm also going to be keeping my eyes peeled for um, more Celestials. I really, really want a Celestial Argentavis. Uh, just something strong that can fly, basically. Something that can get us around the map really, really fast, while also being able to destroy things really, really fast would be really, really handy. Uh, but anyways, for now, you know what? I said we're gonna go. Wait, what are we doing right here? Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I said we were gonna go straight for the T Rex, but hey, I can't turn down a quick little kill on this guy right here. Um, this attack is ridiculous. Like, I'm pretty sure it just dealt 16 million damage in a single hit. All I gotta do is this, like, literally 10 times. Oh my gosh, it just gets stronger. Not only that, I haven't even powered up yet. Hold on. Uh, can I run away? Can I run away? Hold on. I'm actually really slow on stamina. Wait, why am I. He's, he's still taking damage from my attack, just by the way. Uh, we're already 100 million damage down. Fantastic. Um, also, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm wondering what is going on with my stamina here. Why is my stamina so low? Is it charged? Okay, it's recharging. We've actually got 20 levels as well. We should just crank him more into damage because why not? All right, the stamina is all good, but let's go and drain it again. It's time to power this baby up and deal even more damage than we just dealt a second ago. Here we go. Come on, come on, show, show me, show me, show me. Also, damn, he deals pretty good damage of his own. Of his own. Um, now I'm curious though. Uh, that's 20 million damage just from one attack. 25 million damage from one attack. 35 million, 40 million. I think... We might have just dealt 50 billion damage with a single attack. I'm going to try again. All right, we're actually going to pay close attention here. I want to see how much that health drops 
Uh, he was at 75 billion when we dealt it. That's 25 billion. 30, 35, 40, 45 million perhaps? Nearly 45 million damage from a single hit, which means one more of these and this car note will be nothing but dust. I'm just going to sit here and wait and watch and just watch, watch, watch the hilarity ensue. There he goes. That's it. <laughs> and we've got a double, another, another double armor drop. Nice. In fact, I think I saw we got boots, which we don't have yet. So lovely. Let me equip those straight away. Unfortunately, it's not a godliest pair, um, but it's still pretty good. Also, the gauntlets are better than our current gauntlets. So we've got an even better pair of gauntlets now too. Well, that's one origin down. I'm going to go and depower my dude or de... Devolve? D, 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 I don't know what you'd call it, but we're just going to weaken him up a little bit just to let that stamina recharge. I'm considering dropping a health potion, but I think instead I'll just, I'll just sit them there. Um, or we can go and increase his health a little bit more, up to 7 million health. Um, or do we just go straight to 8 million? You know what? Maybe we just crank up that tiny little bit more. In fact, can I just give you this? Oh, that gives him a couple extras. All right, that lets him get to 8 million health. And then I'll put the little spare ones into melee damage. And I'm really tempted to use a health potion on him, but I kind of want to see what this Rex can do. Imagine if this Rex is just like, imagine if we just wipe the floor with it in an instant. I feel like that's what's going to happen regardless. But let me, let me, let's get a little bit closer and actually find out. So he's just over here. Um, ooh, oh, I forgot about you. I forgot there's a, less, a Celestial Yudi around us out here. Requires 8 kibble and level 290. Like, I could knock that out. I could tame that. I don't have the kibble on me right now, but I can get it. We just got to go back to base to get it. Um, I'm going to leave him alive. Just just in case I do decide to tame up that Celestia or that I do want to I'll just I'll just wait for the time being. For now, though, this is my target. This big old golden T-Rex. Look at the size of him compared to a regular T-Rex, by the way. Um, he's pretty remarkable. I think we're going to wipe the floor with him personally. So, do we just jump in there and do it? Yes, yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to jump straight in there and do it. Um, take out his little friend first. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. And let's see what we can do here. Oh, power up first. We've got to power on. He deals 50,000 damage, which is about what his Kano friend was dealing. But he's also a bigger target, which means I reckon we might even wipe the floor with him even quicker than we did the Kano. Let's, uh, let's have a look, eh? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I love how strong this Caprasuchus is. I'm literally waiting for like any day of this guy to get nerfed. I feel like any second, any day, I'm going to log in and the uh, Primal Fear mod is going to get updated and we're no longer going to be able to uh, use this guy's super poweredness anymore. I'm just waiting for it. Any day now, I'm, I'm anticipating it and I'm going to cry the day it happens and I'm probably just going to build a little grave in my graveyard and just bury this Sarko because that he'll be made useless. Anyways, I'm not ignoring the fact that right now we are very low on health. I'm kind of nervous about that as a matter of fact, but I feel like we've got this battle in the bag because this guy's only got about 40 million health remaining and he's nearly, there he goes. There he goes. And we have just unlocked an old new batch of tech stuff. Unfortunately though, no tech replicator, which is still the tech that I need. It's like the one thing that I need so I can actually craft up all the other tech stuff. Um, but it has taken its sweet old time to unlock. Now the question is though, ooh, hello. It's a primal raptor. All right, I'm going to go kill that real quick. Um, I should probably heal up my dude though. I'm going to heal my dude up. Uh, where is he? There he is. Primal dinosaurs, although uh, they are weaker than origins, um, they, we need their blood for kibble. So yeah, we're going to destroy him probably in a single hit. Shouldn't be too hard, right? I remember when these guys were tough, by the way. I remember when it took me like 10 minutes to, to kill one of these things. It was a long time. Actually, no, it was like a half an hour battle as a matter of fact. <laughs> but uh, no more. No more of that. Also, we can stop using our crazy attacks. We can just harvest that blood. Thank you very much. And we can keep on moving. All right. Do kind of feel bad. We're like just burning down the jungle. But uh, hey, it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. Oh, snap. I forgot that that's a thing. Um, I've got armor on, so we're okay. We're good. All right, and now my guy's just gonna... Okay, yep, just light it up. Light it up. Keep going. <laughs> Why not? So I got to be careful of raptors. And I think that's the reason um, that yesterday kind of went a little bit pear-shaped. I think demonics and celestials don't give you that rider protection. Um, 
It's the reason that another Sarko can dismount me from my dinosaur, for example, or even a, um, a raptor, I guess, like, like we literally just witnessed. So I got to be careful of the raptors and any sorts of dinosaurs that can influence the dinosaur that we are riding. However, I'm trying to think back to where it was that we found ourselves an origin. Ooh, another, another primal. All right, I'm going to drop down here and give this guy a little bit of a fight. We found an origin Kairuku a while ago. Um, I it was very early on. It was to the point where I wasn't even, I wasn't even focused on origin dinosaurs because they were way out of our league. Except now, I need them. <laughs> Not that I need them, but no, I need them. I need, I need an origin Kairuku right this second. It's one of the like three remaining origins that we've never fought and we really need to fight. Also, damn, we are getting, I just got four primal health potions out of that. Nice. Well, okay. That undoes the one that we, um, that we used up earlier. Also, we got some new leggings that are better than my current leggings too. That was from killing the T-Rex earlier. And as you can see here, we now have ourselves the Origin Rex tribute. So we're one step closer. Let me go and harvest 85 primal blood. That's um, yeah, it's a little bit of kibble. That'll come in handy. But we need to find this Kairuku. And I can't for the life of me remember where it was that we found it. So it was very early on. I'm. It's got to be in the icy area because that's that's Kairuku territory. Um, unless it was like an islandy area or something. I'm thinking maybe even over here somewhere, to be honest. You know where we could go? Hmm. There is a desert on this map and I've been looking at it for some time. Like I remember like a good week or two ago, we looked across at it and I was like, that could be an interesting place to check out. Maybe that's where there's like a bunch of origins and primals and stuff hiding. Who knows? Maybe we got some chaos over there. Maybe, maybe I, I like, I, I really have no idea. We've never ventured over there. So maybe we should. Maybe we should. It's a lot closer to home. So I'd have to kind of return back to base first. I'm just having a little bit of a suss around here though. Just to see if we can find ourselves an origin Kairuku. Um, maybe we just teleport back to base. And I can go for a bit of a flyabout on our Teratodon. Alright, that's what we're going to do. So we are going to teleport back to base. It's the most convenient thing to do. And you know what? Maybe I'll have a little fly around the icy area again just to see if we can find that Kairuku. But we spent a lot of time in the snowy mountains the past week or so. And I ain't seen myself a Kairuku in a very old long time. So I don't really like our chances of finding it. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, let me just grab this handy stuff here. We might need it. My dude's got another 21 levels up his sleeve, by the way. So we can really like power him up soon. Uh, I'm just going to get the blood in here. That way it's not spoiling. This blood is, um, like I said, very, very handy. We've got 232 primal blood now. I'm also going to drop off the souls, this hide, and these ones up here as well. Also, actually, let's have a look. What am, what am I missing now? It, it, it will literally tell me. I need Kairuku Raptor. I haven't fought an origin Raptor yet. I reckon it's the Raptor that might even give me the Replicator unlock too. And then Spino and Wyvern, of course, too. Okay. I also don't know why I'm collecting these costumes. I guess it's just in case I decide to do something with costumes, but I highly doubt I ever will. Let me just get these last two origin bloods in here. I could craft these into some arrows, some one-shot knockout arrows, but for now, yeah, I'm not really... Well, I don't know. Like I said, if we find ourselves the right uh, celestial, I might, but we haven't found the right celestial yet, so... Or demonic for that matter actually if i find a demonic too i might get a little bit excited and do something about that as well but we'll, we'll worry about that when the time comes but now fabled pteranodon you could do with some heals in fact maybe i will give you some quick heals hold on a second can i get you out <laughs> stuck inside of the base um let me just land you oh, come on. where are we there we go i think i can heal him up using my my origin racks um activate area of effect heal yeah, okay, there we go. Fable Pteranodon's all healed up. Fantastic. All right. Well, there's the desert. That's where we're going. And look, if that doesn't give us answers, then I'll just kind of head across until we find something that is a little bit more to what we're looking for. Yeah. So this is actually a really, really big area of the map. Um, Interesting. Very, very interesting. This is a massive desert. Huh. I wonder what sort of like it's so like I could feel the world loading in because I've never explored out here before. I could I could see the dinosaurs or the dinosaurs were popping in like one of the Oh we got a we got a supply drop out here. This is a pretty this thing's massive. Hold on. Hold on. What do we got here? It's a primal. Now the primal can't look. 
I know I said I'm stopping to fight primals, but right this second, it's not... We already killed one today. It's not really what I'm looking for. So we'll just keep on exploring. Um, so far, never found any origins or, or anything yet, but... Whoa. Oh, okay. I think we're at the edge of the map. Also, I'm noticing this is the obvious place to go looking for things such as... Titan. A lot of bugs out here. You got scorpions, you got mantises, and all that jazz. Obviously, limantrias and jug bugs too. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't cross my mind to come out here sooner. Uh, also, what I. Oh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, that was really. Okay. I, I saw something from behind the rock. I thought it was blue. I didn't think it was the yellow origin orb. Uh, no, that is that is another Origin Kano. I'm, I'm not looking for you though. I've already killed three of you. I don't. I got no. Uh, I got no reason to kill this thing right now. But we will need to farm Origins eventually. I think I need to. All right, we're gonna go and get. Oh man, <laughs> I, I, I'm so. I feel spoiled. Spoiled that we're finding this stuff. But then at the same time, I'm a little tad. I'm gonna leave you. Oh, I'll leave you here. I trust you. I feel a little, um, like I wish the origin, I wish that a different origin had spawned out here is basically what I'm trying to say. We need other origins, but we just keep finding Kanos and Argies. Doesn't matter though. We'll just, we'll just quickly wipe the floor with him. We know how it works. Pretty much five of these water strike attacks and they're dust. Uh, just the way I like it. Fantastic. I'm not complaining. Uh, also, we still got to find a Wyvern. And I'm wondering basically what we can, oh, should I have to go and fight? Where was that primal Kano now? Should I just go and fight him while I'm out here too? Because what we can actually do is summon in these origins ourselves. We can literally craft them up and summon them. Problem is, it uses quite scarce re or scarce scarce resources. Uh, one of which is primal blood. It uses all the bloods basically. But primal blood is actually quite hard to collect because primals aren't that common. Uh, which is, I guess, another reason why we need to be collecting as much primal blood as we possibly can. Um, anyways, that's that for the Kano. That was really, really easy. And we got a helmet. We got the full set. We got the full set of origin armor. And unfortunately, this one here isn't a full powered one, but uh, that don't matter. All right. Not bad at all. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, there's my Tyranodon. And I think what I'll do is I'll just teleport you straight back home. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me pop my helmet off. Oh, no. All right, I'm hearing fight music. I'm just going to hop on my dude and keep on going. All right. Well, uh, I guess this area kind of delivers. Sort of. <laughs> I mean, there's one origin. And where there's one origin, there's bound to be more, right? Either uh, either there's there's many. Or Ooh. Oh, there you are. Wait a second. Is that? That's two. That's two Primal Kanos. Oh, my gosh. All right, then. Um, we got... <laughs> Well, I mean, come on. I can't, I can't deny. Oh no, they're actually going to run over here. It looked like they were stuck on top of one another. I can't deny them a fight. My Capra is back already. In fact, I might not even bother teleporting him back home this time. Uh, we are taking down these Cardos. It's a double, it's a double primal. That's just, it goes without saying. These guys need to be taken down. And I might even be able to just like one shot them both. That's right. Half a shot each. One shot, double kill. Can we actually do that? Yeah, that's one down. That's two down. <laughs> this just feels... All right, this is ridiculous. I can't believe I've only just... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, good. Oh, no. What have I done? No, we're good? What did you do? Did you harvest them or did I harvest them? I actually have no idea. Um, I was trying to chainsaw them to get extra blood. I don't think it made a difference, though. But um, pretty cool regardless. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's keep it going. Uh, I'm actually just going to leave my Capra Suchis here. He's got the little thing on him, so I can teleport him to me. Yeah, and I trust him. I think he'll be just fine. So, we are looking for red glowy things, because that would mean a primal. We're also listening out for the music, because that means that there's something nearby too. Or we're looking for giant yellow orbs to spawn in front of us. Or, or, hold on just a second. Hello. I see you down there, Demo. All right, D show me what you can do. Other than giant fire breaths. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay, I wouldn't mind myself another demonic. I feel like this uh I feel like this this world just wants me to go the demonic route. The celestial was just uh well, we're not having a whole lot of luck with them, are we yet? <laughs> the only thing they can't do is fly. But 
Hmm. Okay. Okay. Tempting. Five kibble. I don't have five kibble on me, but I can go back to base and craft that up. I completely forgot that we may find some demonics out here in the desert. Also, I've lost my orientations. What direction? Wait, hold on. Where am I? I'm meant to be going this way. Hold on a sec. I'm going around in circles. All right, we're going this way. All right, so still keeping the eyes peeled. Like I said, though, we're listening for music. We're looking for, um, I don't know, glowing dinosaurs. We're looking for flaming dinosaurs. And we're looking for giant yellow orbs. Not to mention, I just it just occurred to me, I wonder if you can find reapers out here. Normally, mods like to spawn reapers out in the desert. Also, you know, death worms, of course. Also, how deep does this desert go? Because there is a supply drop all the way out there. That, there's no way that's on the map. Can I really fly all the way out there? That, this feels massive. This is, a, this is an enormous desert. All right, I'll, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. A Goliath long neck rifle. It's probably just a blueprint. I'll just ignore that. Uh, but yeah, I wonder if we can find some reapers out here. This would actually be a really, really good place to do boss battles as well. Because it's so open, so barren. Like, there's just a lot of space to move around in. And I feel like that is the perfect, perfect place to conduct a boss battle. Anyways, um, this is this is more my style of desert. This is much nicer out here. With a little, like, I don't know what you call it when you get the giant rocky type of areas. Unfortunately, though, uh, we might have struck all of our luck with the origins already because... I'm not finding anything more. <laughs> I think we literally used all our luck up right at that like one little spot with the origin Kano, the double primal Kanos. And other than that, we are like, I'm not seeing anything obvious. Nothing standing out of me. Um, but hey, at least we are getting to explore some of the map that we haven't yet explored yet. But like I said, yeah, I think, I think, I don't know. Maybe there was some stuff that we missed. I'm kind of intrigued to check out what these little islands are out here. It looks like they're still on the map. These like a like little, I don't know. They, they, they look like they got lost. These islands look like they got lost from the main island and they're kind of just like chilling out here doing nothing. I wonder if there's like a base beneath it. What an interesting looking spot. There's no dinosaurs out here. You got a little patch of, of uh, sand, little beach. What's beneath? It just looks like something's meant to be down there. But then saying that, it looks pretty just like a giant piece of seaweed. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, fair enough then. Um, still intriguing. I wonder if you could do like a cool base out here. You'd be safe. There's nothing around. Like just a little, little house, little bridges, little like mountaintop village or something. Who knows? Who knows? Um, also, I guess we've never come out here before either. This is, this is all pretty new as well. How does there so much of the map that we've never ventured through? I should be down here on the beaches just sussing the place out. Or maybe up in the mountaintops. Oh, hello. Fabled Griff, are you joking? Oh, at last. Okay, hold on. I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't think that's what I was looking at. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm. Yes, yes. I'm taming that. That's it. That's it. That's it. That is something I've been uh, wanting to find. You guys have no idea. That that is so much better than. I'll take. I'll take this over all the origins combined. This here is like the ultimate griffin. Well, one of at least. They're fast. They're furious. It's pretty much a unicorn cross a griffin hybrid. And for some reason, it's like golden colored. It looks royal. Four hundred and forty thousand torpor. Um, I don't have a net or anything, but not only that. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, right, right, right. I'm going back to base. We're going back to base really, really quickly. Um, okay, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. This is this is big. This is huge. Um, this will mean we can like it's a it's it's a it's a it's a griffin at the end of the day and a unicorn combined. You can tame. You can shoot. You can tame dinosaurs easily from its back. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. So. It's the perfect replacement for our fabled unicorn who died two days ago. Let's go craft up some nets. I'll probably miss one, so we'll grab five because I'll probably miss four. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Um, I've got all the tranks and stuff that I need. I just need five kibble, which I've got three already. We'll get the other two. I can't believe we found one of these. Um, oh, and hold on a second. I've got three more here. Okay, we've got six. We're good. All right, nice. That's it. We're done. Um, who should I take i guess you'll be fine as long as we get this thing netted 
I should be able to do the rest. Oh, actually, hold on just one second. We need ourselves a team helper, which I might have on me. We've killed a lot of stuff. Yep, we're good. Okay, cool. Oh my God, you guys have no idea how much my day has just been made by flying across this thing so randomly. <laughs> oh, this is the best. I've been, I've been wanting to find one of these all season. You guys have no idea. I know I haven't said it out loud, but um, if you followed my other Primal Fear series, you know, you know how excited I get for these things. Uh, I usually get them killed. Actually, once I tamed one up and it died the same episode, it was horrible. Um, okay, okay. Let me, I don't want to mess this up. I do have pretty good armor, so I think if it did want to fight me, I should be okay. But uh, look, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. If he decides to attack me, which he is going to. All right, that's one down. Oh, really, buddy? Dialect. Ooh, I'm burning. Why am I? Wait, he's got a fire breath attack? All right, all right. I think my arm is holding up all right, though. That's nice. Okay. How am I going to hit this thing? It's so quick. Yes, another reason I want him in my squad. And just like that. He's going to sleep. He's going to sleep. I can hear something running around near me. I think it's just a dodo. Hopefully it's not one of those explodey dodos. Why are you running up here, buddy? And can you run somewhere else, please? Um, I'm actually tempted to switch up ammunition because I don't know how much torpor these things are dealing. Why did you just run up here? You're worrying me. All right. I'll use up all 22 of these bullets and then we'll... I don't know. We'll work it out after that. Please don't wake up though, because if you, I, I don't know how I'll catch this thing if he decides to fly away. And the worst part is it's going to be all because I was too stingy to use the good ammunition. All right, I think we're just going to get the new, the good stuff out, and I'll finish him off with that. Fine. I just don't want to waste any of these, but we might be using all of them. Got him. All right, nice. That's it. He ain't running away. It's also a level 290, so just below max level. That's fine. Let me drop that in there. And, uh, yes. <gasps> oh, this is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. Oh, and, and you know what? I'll, I'll take one of those back because you don't need them all. There we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know who we're continuing this journey with, don't you? That's right. It's on this guy. I'll say he's, he was a lot slower than he did in the wild, but that's okay. Um, all right. I'm going to send you home because you've done well. You've done very, very well for us today. You can go and make me some more eggs back at base, but we are going to continue with this beautiful beast right here. Have a look at it. So it's gold. It's kind of like a uh, teal, aqua, aqua colored. It's got a little bit of pink underneath him. And then he's got this like weird, he's got the, the, the kind of fabled pinkish glow to, oh my, what a beautiful, beautiful griffocord. Um, I kind of want to see what he's capable of though. So let's go and get some of these into him. He's got 200,000 health. Not a lot of health like no health at all actually but if i can get him to like a million health that'll be nice so that's 800,000 900,000 and a few more 1 million health almost exactly let's give him a speed boost because why not also why did i throw so much into health uh, all right it is what it is you know what you can have all my potions have them all have all my experience just take it just take it all and we'll get you some speed and there's some melee damage and all of that fun stuff you're my like you're my cargo ship. You're my travel me around dinosaur. Oh my gosh. Also, I'm like, all right, we, I, oh, I should put, I'll probably put a health potion in him. But what I was going to say was, we should probably stick to the mountaintops here um, because we obviously found this guy up here. Who knows what else we're going to find up here. There might even be a whole stack of like elementals. Hold on. Uh, I thought that was, I thought that was more griffins and I got excited, but it looks like it's just a lot of argies. But we'll have a little peek through. Maybe there's like a spirit art. No, nah, there's nothing. There's nothing. All right, let's keep it going. Keep it going. You never knows. Hold on. Thought I heard music. No, nah, I don't think so. All right, so we're keeping our eyes peeled for giants. Ooh, no, nah, that's just stegos. Look like some monster, but it's literally just three stegos on top of one another. Um, yeah, we might have just got lucky. Cause uh, everything else seems rather uninteresting right now still looking for giant yellow orbs to just spawn in front of my face a lot of crystal out here by the way and metal for that matter you can actually build a really good base out here this would be an awesome base location but we're not looking for base locations today now are we no we are not i like this area though 
You got mountain. You got forest. You got a little bit of swamp down here. <gasps> Wait a second. I think I know where we are now. This is where we found the original caustic mega raptor, I think. Out in this little area over here. Literally, like, right here. I think I think there was a caustic feather light. And then a caustic mega raptor. And I tamed that sucker up. And then we got him killed. Because that's how we do. Also, that might literally be the caustic. <laughs> that is the caustic feather light. All right, I know where we are now. So we came here, but we just never ventured any further. Ooh. There's like, there's like ruins out. Oh, this is cool. Oh, how did we miss this? I guess I wasn't really looking around too much. All right. Um, 10,000. Oh, 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 hold on a second. I should probably be careful. Uh, okay, let me... Uh, okay, I don't want to get this guy killed just yet. Uh, this feather light kind of tough, though. Um, wow. All right, there we go. He dead. 45 feathers. Thank you very much. He was dealing 10,000. He was dealing more damage than me. I wonder how much damage I deal from a dive bomb. Well, if I actually hit my targets, we may know, but I don't. Uh, also, I've been slowed down, feels. All right, let's get more melee damage. Um... Mr. on. Oh my gosh. I actually suck at this. Oh, 140,000. How about if I just hit the ground? 55,000. Not bad. Look, once we get some more uh, levels into melee damage, this thing will be an absolute powerhouse. But more, more importantly, it can fly around and I can equip weapons from the back of it. And that's all I wanted. That's what I need. You need one of these in your squad, whether it's a Unicorn or a Grifficorn or a, 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 that's about it really. I can't think of anything else that does that sort of stuff, but you need something that, does. what just broke all these rocks? Hold on a second. I think it's a primal tech. Pretty cool regardless. Now, have we pretty much done like a whole perimeter check of this map? We still haven't ventured out this way, but I feel like at this point where we're kind of, <laughs> I don't, like I don't, I, I'm pretty satisfied to be honest. After finding this thing, um, I'm I'm like I'm good. I'm good. Like this this has been an, an amazing adventure. Even though we only found an origin Kano, we found ourselves the few primals that we took down as well. The Grifficorn just changes everything. Also, this is an amazing looking part of the map over here. Hold on, look at this. Hold on, there's like a giant cave down here. Is there? No, I think it's just a little canyon. This is it? I don't know. There's something weird. It looks like it's just like an overgrown. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so amazed by this. The terrain on this map is just something majestic. Look at all the waterfalls over here. Is this water or could you build a base here? This is just an or Oh man, there's so many good spots. There's so many nice locations. Such a nice map. Anyways, we are gonna return home. <laughs> I want to make sure that this Grifficorn survives the day. I don't want to tempt. I don't want to like tempt fate. I've already tamed one of these guys up once in a previous series and got him killed before returning home. And I do not want to see that happen to this one right here. So he's back. We're done. That's that. And before we call it, let me go and summon back my buddy because I don't want to go and leave him out in the desert. He was looking a little bit derpy there, wasn't he? But guys, we're going to end this one right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. If you haven't yet done so, subscribe to the channel, of course. But most importantly, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time. Bye. For now.